Hey coach, glad you found us over here on YouTube. Um, it's Thanksgiving week is when I'm posting this and I'm thankful for so many things. So um, I am going to post a couple things from our teachhoops.com website, kind of a, a sneak peek behind some of the stuff that we put on. Um, you know, we put up many lessons every week. We have tons of resources. We do community, we do office hours, we do one-on-one -on -one calls. Um, if you want to check them out, I'd never remember which corner it is. Check one of the corners up above um, and you can check it out. But we're going to do a couple of different things this week. I'm going to just, um, after my Monday rant on the shot clock in Wisconsin, I feel like I want to give a little bit back. So I'm going to put a couple of different things up. Um, not sure what this specific video you're going to watch is, but you, you clicked on it. So here you go. Um, if you like it, check over teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Click up above one of the little corners. They'll be able to something called a card. Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to talk about um, a couple things. Um, I'm going to talk about free throws and studies behind them. And then uh, a couple things that we do definitely during the season that help us with free throws. Um, so let me just show you what we got here. So the bottom, uh, this one and this one, uh, this is, in my opinion, I'm going to click here. This, in my opinion, best free throw book. If you need to buy one book for free throw uh, shooting, this is the book I'd buy. Free throw shooting, seven steps to success. I think it's great. Um, so that's the way I would go if I was buying one specific book. Um, you know, that's just what I would tackle. Uh, so let me move back here. Hold on. I got to go see this. So, um, Click that over. So that's right here. That's the book. That's a link to the book. And then some studies. <laughs> key, a couple key things. It's up here. Okay. And we all probably know that a little bit. So there's just been studies. You could, I could give you 25. If you want more studies, I can give you more studies. But um, this is kind of a, this one up here is an article. Studies of effect of mental, mental imagery, studies and shooting methods, mental image study. So you have to you have to go up here um and i do that with the guys sometimes definitely during warm-ups um and i'm gonna drink a starbucks in the middle of this so i hope you're okay with that um but i would spend the time to definitely go through and um there's a lot of mental me mental imagery that we'll talk about especially maybe later in this season or postseason not sure we'll get to it in this this specific 30 days, but um, I spent a lot of time on closing eyes, relaxing, thinking about, you know, the big game, thinking about where we're going to play, you know, you're going to be in the sectional finals, let's imagine you're in that gym, all those kind of things. So that obviously pertains to free throw shooting a lot, um, and it pertains to free throw shooting a lot in the sense that that's something that a statistician like myself <laughs> um, can look at because it's the same doesn't matter if you're, you're you're shooting a free throw in Brazil or you're shooting a free throw in the U.S. doesn't matter. It's the exact same. It's the one I tell kids it's the easiest shot in basketball because it never changes. It's the same distance every time. It's not even a layup. Um, you know, a layup changes. So sometimes you have pressure. Sometimes you don't have pressure. So the key is how do you how do you physically get them to that point mentally? So you practice it. Okay, you practice. You haven't practiced at home. You haven't practiced before Before practice. Um, you know, there's some things that I do that I've definitely done more of lately that, you know, that are imagining that, like, that free throw, that big game. Um, there's been some interesting studies about home court advantage and not home court advantage and stuff like that. But um, pre-imagery of free throw shooting, these are all great. So you can go all the way down. They're all really good. Okay. So that's the first thing. Two ways that I practice free throws. It's fine if they need a break and you go to practice free throws. It's fine if you do it before practice or at the end of practice. It's not hurting you. Um, I'm not sure it's going to make you a 62% to a 71 by those specific things. Okay. Two things that I have found that have been very successful. I use what I call a free throw ladder and I'm going to show you a picture of it here. Um, so this is what we use. I, I didn't, it's just a JPEG, but um, so the first week of practice, I have everybody shoot, 
point is to be at the top of this free throw ladder at the end of the season. That's where you want to be. So let's say I have 12 guys out. I'm going to have them shoot maybe 100 free throws that first week. Keep track of it. Some will cheat, some won't. Then this will take care of the cheating aspect. So then we have one go versus two, two, three versus four. And if you win, you go up. The next time one will get a bye, and two will go versus three, four will go versus five. And so you're trying to work your way up the ladder rather than work your way down the ladder. The object is to be at the top of the ladder by the end of the season. Okay, and the, there's and, the, and what it does is it tells me who the good free throw shooters are. Um, and then I put in here, I put an example, I don't know, for my first state tournament team, I think, yeah. So you see, Kane played Mike, Kane won, so Kane stayed. Scott, Scott played Corey, Corey won, so Corey went up, Scott is second. So here's an example. In this one, Kane got a bye, and Mike won versus Scott, Corey won versus Andrew G, I believe it's a doctor now, um, Justin versus Keaton, um, Wesley versus Reed. So professional player, professional player, Mr. Basketball. I mean, it's just, it's insane. That's why I probably kept this thing. Um, so that's a really good game as far as getting better at free throws. The second thing I do is what I call, um, and, and we don't do this. We tend to do this on weekends more. Um, with the younger kids, I would tend to do what I call a 60 game. Um, it, with older kids, I, you know, NBA guys will go to a hundred. So here's how it works. You have somebody rebounding for you. Um, and then th this can be a punishment too, uh, <laughs> because it could take a while to do this. So you go up and shoot the first free throw. doesn't, you keep track of it, but it doesn't affect you. You shoot the second free throw. You shoot the third free throw. You shoot the fourth free throw. The fifth free throw is the one that matters. If you make it, you get to keep going on. So let's say you make one, miss two, miss three, make four, but you make five, then you get to keep going. You get to shoot six, seven, eight, nine, ten matters. Okay? So let's say six you make, seven you miss, eight you make, nine you make, and then ten you make, you get to keep going. Eleven you miss, twelve you miss, thirteen you miss, fourteen you miss, fifteen you miss, you're done. And the object's to get to... 60 to 80, depending on how good your team is. Um, NBA guys go to 100. So you can imagine that you've shot 95 free throws, 94 free throws, and you're shooting 95. If you miss, you got to go back to zero. So what this is doing is it's putting and mounting pressure on you uh, as the season or as that, as that goes on. So is there a lot of pressure on five, one, two, three, four, that fifth free throw? Not really, because you go back to zero. There's pressure when you get to 20 because you don't want to go back to zero. Coach ain't letting me leave the gym until I get to 70 or I get to 85. So it's a great, it, it is, that and the free throw ladder are two of the better, um, two of the better free throw games that I have seen and that I would recommend for anybody. Obviously, if you're dealing with elementary school kids or younger kids, you make it 20. You make it 10. It doesn't matter. And you could... I don't know, you make it 12 and every three, you got to go back to zero. You can alternate that, but it is a great way um, of shooting free throws. I've, I've heard that NBA guys will throw up if they miss it. I mean, they get so worked up and it's so anxious when they get to those top numbers that it's crazy. Um, so good things with free throws. You got some reading material here to do. Um, I'm going to add a discussion group to this. If you have anything you want to talk about in terms of free throws, surely let me know. Thanks.